The book's really the story of how I became a very distracted astronomer. It starts back with me at my school observatory trying to use a telescope to make discoveries. I wanted to find a comet because a comet is named after its discoverer and Comet Lintot, I think, sounds rather wonderful. I didn't find a comet and I learned that astronomy these days is a science of big data. We sit at our computers and we use data from telescopes around the world to inform us about the cosmos. So it's more about writing database queries than it is staring through an eyepiece. The trouble is that this big data distracts astronomers. We can't possibly look at every image taken by every telescope, and sometimes we need to. When I arrived in Oxford in 2007, we had a problem. We had too many galaxies. We had images of a million galaxies. And we needed to sort them out by shape. The shape of a galaxy tells you its history. It tells you whether it's collided with other galaxies. It tells you when and where it's formed stars. But sorting a galaxy out by shape is something that people do better than computers. So we had a student look at 50,000 galaxies, and then he more or less went on strike and refused to do any more. And so in desperation, we turned to the public for help in what's now called citizen science. That project, Galaxy Zoo, was an enormous success. We had very quickly tens of thousands of people and then hundreds of thousands sorting through galaxies. And not only were they better than the computers, they were better than we expert astronomers because collectively the crowd didn't make mistakes. And that was a, a life-changing realization because very quickly we were running projects doing everything from transcribing ancient papyri sitting in the library just up the road here through to literally counting penguins in images from Antarctic cameras. This method of dealing with scientific data by asking the public to help I think has, has profound consequences. It means that we can make the most of the data that we're collecting. We can be surprised by it. We can be distracted by the unusual and the unexpected in there. And more importantly, it means that everyone who participates is contributing to our knowledge of the universe by trying to discover a planet through our system or, or classifying a galaxy or, or even counting the penguins. You're telling us something that we just didn't know about the universe before. Science is something that we can all collectively work on. Uh, and that's the magic of the crowd and the cosmos.